Hey, good people. James here again. Thanks for uh, joining us. Remember to uh, subscribe, like, crush the button, all those fun things. If you want more tips, today we're talking about gardening. It's the 13th of April and it snowed. Now it didn't just snow, we had a hard freeze. That's not good news for things like apricots and it wasn't good news for the peas that I planted a month ago. So the thing to remember is when is our last frost date? And that varies widely depending on where you are in the valley, depending on how close you are to the river, depending on how close you are to the lake, how close you are to the bench. Right now in the valley, it's approximately the 30th of April. It has been later around Mother's Day, the 20th of May in years past, but that, that time does change over time and especially as we've had warmer temperatures um, and and we know some climate shifting that has gone on has moved our our season up a little bit and that's why it's the 30th of april but soil temperature is so important for the germination of of seeds and so the the soil temperature is really the thing that we want to look for when we're planting our peas and our early cool season crops. However, those new seedlings or, or those starts that you get from the nursery, unless you really want to babysit them by covering them and going through, you know, a significant amount of effort and labor to keep them viable through these cold nights and snow anomalies and whatnot, uh, I really recommend that you wait till after your last frost date. You know, when I first moved here from the Pacific Northwest, there was an individual who told me that the old timers who are farming and growing here and gardening and whatnot, they said that you didn't plant a thing in your garden until the snow was off the Ochre Mountains. Well, Ochre Mountains are those mountains there behind the copper mine, right now, we can see that the snow's falling mid-valley and undoubtedly just dumped more snow on the Ochre Mountains. So, watch carefully the weather and remember, this is Utah. You never know quite what to expect.